Hello and welcome, this is Srinidhi and you're watching Peace News International, starting with the headlines. A dialogue on spirituality in society convened at Global Corporation House in London. Christina Figueres and BK Jayanti conversed on climate change. A workshop was held at Brahma Kumari's Meditation Museum in Washington, D.C. Gwen Vitaka shared the benefits of plant-based lifestyle. An international conference on world peace was organized at Leh in Ladakh. Dr. Bini was honored by World Book of Records London as Peace Ambassador. Now the news in detail. In order to mark the Mayor of London's first Climate Action Week, a special event was organized at Global Corporation House in London. The event started with the song, Together We Can Change the World. This provided an upbeat and inspirational start to the evening, which was followed by a dialogue on spirituality in society. Christiana Figueres, a former Executive Secretary of United Nations, and Vicky Jenti, the Director of Brahmakumaris in the Middle East and European countries, came together to discuss vital issues on the climate change issue. How would you describe the regenerative power that we have inside? Because all of that is linked. There is no such thing as regenerate land over here, regenerate the oceans over here, regenerate me over here. The fact is, it's all linked. But I would love to hear it in your words. Coming to the awareness of who I truly am, the inner being, the soul, and when I, the soul, connect with the divine, then I'm able to draw that regenerative energy into myself and that transformation that happens within my own inner world is the regeneration of the spirit. And that gives me a new vision, a new understanding, and a, a very different level of capacity to be able to do something for the world out there. And so my relationship with the world, with people changes, but in particular also in this context, my relationship with the whole of the ecosystem changes. And so because there's a regenerative energy which is very powerful and positive, now I'm able to use that and apply it in everything that I do in terms of the natural world. A question-answer session was also included in the event. After a lively and engaging discussion, Sister Jayanti suggested a pause for meditation and guided those present with a commentary. The evening ended with a very moving violin solo performance. News from the United States. We're all familiar with the phrase, you are what you eat. However, we usually think of the physical effects of food on our health. On a deeper level, food influences our mental, spiritual, physical well-being as well as the society which we live in. In order to explain how food choices and food preparations affect our emotions, integrity and health, a workshop was convened at the Brahma Kumari's Meditation Museum in Washington, D.C. Gwen Whitaker, the CEO of the Green Fair Organic Cafe in Herndon, Virginia, shared her story of how she discovered the overall benefits of a plant-based lifestyle. Had another person come into my life, I started talking about opening a restaurant where it's an educational restaurant, educational experiential restaurant, and delivering this um, kickstart. So, uh, Pericles Silva was at Whole Foods in Reston. He actually started and ran the Health Starts Here program. So I had no food experience. I'm an engineer. I sort of cook uh, simple things that are more utilitarian. And uh, usually my recipes don't turn out anything that look like the recipes. They don't taste that good, but I haven't died yet. So I think they're probably okay. But for me to own a restaurant is sort of the ultimate ir irony. So the more that you learn about plants, the more you recognize that what's happened in our food system today is very adulterated. Um, it, it, has anybody heard about gluten intolerance? You know, that's 10 years ago, nobody was talking about that. The event was opened with a brief introduction about the organization by Brother David, a Raj Yoga practitioner. Thereafter, BK Jenna, director of Brahma Kumari's Meditation Museum, in Washington, D.C., address a gathering under the selected theme. We have over 9,000 centers around the world in 130 different countries. But this museum here in Washington and its sister museum 
And Tyson's are the only meditation museums in that network of 9,000 centers. My soul feels rich and full. I'm going to have less desires for spices, salts, sugars, and things that are over sensory because I'll just be in balance and in alignment to just the purity of my presence. So I feel like what you're offering us is a light that's pulling us towards a future way that we will evolve into at some point. Moving on to the Himalayas at an international conference on the world peace as well as to commemorate the 150th birth anniversary of Mahatma Gandhi and preservation of cultural heritage of the Himalayas, an event was organized at one of the highest altitude of Shanti Stupa in Leh in the Ladakh region of northern India. Dr. B. K. Bini, the Regional Director of India for Global Peace Initiatives in the USA, was honored by the World Book of Records London as Peace Ambassador. 300 Buddhist monks and nuns participated in a peace walk from Thailand to Leh, Ladakh, for the first time to promote world peace. In this conference, around 500 dignitaries participated from UK, USA, Canada, Thailand, Sri Lanka, Malaysia, Brunei, Japan, Singapore, South Korea, Nepal, and India. Dr. B.K. Bini addressed the main inaugural session on the subject, Inner Peace to World Peace, and conducted a peace meditation. She also shared the contributions of Brahma Kumaris to world peace. Since the last five years, the Brahma Kumaris have been organizing an annual event, namely the Dadi Prakashmani Mount Abu International Half Marathon. This was started in the sweet memory of Reverend late Rajyogini Dadi Prakashmani. The aim of this half marathon is to spread the message of unity and integrity and observe 25th August as the Universal Brotherhood Day. For the upcoming fifth marathon race, a meeting was convened at Om Shanti Bhavan in Mount Abu, India. B.K. Bharat, chief of the social activity group, gave details about the different dimensions and aspects of the event. Dadi ji ne bhot achhe achhe kari kiye aur praja pita Brahma Kumari ko Ishwari Vishwadyalay ko dunia ke patal par ek vishesh sthan prapt karwaya. तो ऐसी हमारी दादी जी थी और उनकी यादगार के रूप में इस मैराथन का आयोजन होता है और इस मैराथन में बहुत ही सभी आनंद से खुशी से भाग लेते हैं और बहुत सुंदर तरीके से यहाँ आबू रोड से लेकर के माउंट आबू तक सभी दौड़ करते हैं और एक ये विशेष प्रकार का रूट है ये जो लद्दाख कश्मीर में है उसके बाद ये ऐसा रूट है जो उसके बाद ऐसा कोई रूट दूसरा नहीं है तो भारत में ये बहुत ही विशेषतापूर्ण मैराथन है तो मैं सबसे अपील करूंगा कि इस मैराथन में भाग लेकर के ऐसा सुंदर मौका सब आप प्राप्त करें बी के शशि नेशनल वाइस चेयरपर्सन ऑफ स्पोर्ट्स विंग बी के डॉक्टर प्रताप मीरा डायरेक्टर ऑफ ग्लोबल हॉस्पिटल बी के देव शांतिवन अकोमोडेशन इन चार्ज एंड कर्नल बी सी सती वो ऑल्सो प्रेजेंट एट दी इवेंट the International Day of Yoga Committee at the United Nations organized a yoga event at the prestigious Tillman Chapel of the UN Church Center in New York. At the outset, there was a brief introduction of Yoga Day by Denise Scotto, the chair of IDY Committee on the UN. She is attorney at law and policy advisor as well. This was followed by an enthralling conversation between Bruce Cryer, the CEO of HeartMath Organization, B.K. Gayatri, the Vice Chair, UN Representative of the Brahma Kumaris, and Denny Scotto as the Moderator. B.K. Gayatri clarified that Raj Yoga is about self-realization. She stated that we are in the habit of looking outwards as our face is facing out. For self-realization, we need to start looking inwards Moving on to Indonesia, the Consulate General of India in Bali celebrated the International Environment Day at Anvaya Beach Hotel Bali. The Brahma Kumaris also joined in the program by cleaning the beach and releasing 100 baby turtles to the ocean. Many organizations also took part in the event. BK Janaki, National Coordinator of Brahma Kumaris in Indonesia, represented the organization. 
Consul General of India in Bali, R. O. Sunil Babu, and other dignitaries grace the event. Thank you very much for watching Peace News International and have a great day ahead. Bye for now and Om Shanti.